Hi, this is Chris McClune of Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. I'm here at FDIC International 2018 at the Outdoor Exhibits. I'm on a uh, Bronto Skylift and I'm with Tom Goyer today. He's North American Sales for Bronto Skylift. Tom's going to talk to us a little bit about what brings customers to Bronto and also uh, what some of the things that he brought uh, with him to FDIC International this year. So Tom, why don't we start with the customers? Why are customers coming to Bronto Skylift? Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, main thing is to draw customers to Bronto. Oftentimes they'll come here because they want a really tall truck. Okay. And the more we talk to them, they realize that it's the capability of the truck, the access that it can provide, that, that really drives them to purchase the product. Okay. Uh, so that, that includes the ability to go below grade, to do, say, a water rescue off a truck that's submerged in water off a car that's in some flood water, and the ability to reach up and over. So if you want to reach over a parapet wall and put firefighters safely down on the roof, or to reach across the roof, and keep the firefighters off the roof completely. So if you want to do a ventilation of a roof that you're not sure of, you can actually ventilate from the front of the platform okay. and move the move the, the cutting saw across the uh, across the roof, whether it be a flat roof or a sloped roof, by using the Bronto controls. It's got that level of control to it. Okay. Um, they'll also use it uh, to uh, to reach up and over, say, a lightweight construction apartment roof, where they don't want to get on the roof again, gotcha. they can ventilate okay. that. Okay, and what, what are some of the products you brought to the show this year? Well, we brought uh, three trucks this year. Um, two of them are F-116 ROP pluses, and the plus means that it's uh, our, our newest control system, okay. electronic computer controlled systems. Um, the first one was made by E1 uh, for Reedy Creek in Florida, and this has, uh, with the 116, we've got a 17 foot up and over capability with this second boom. Uh, we've also brought another 116 made by Fort Gary fire trucks uh, in Canada. The, the third one that we brought here is, is a little more fun and it actually attracts people to the booth and that's our F-291. Okay. So it's a 291 foot uh, Bronto. The exciting thing about that is, is not just the fact that it'll go to 291 feet, but the ability to reach up and over. Um, so you can have a, a 10 story building, you can reach 100 foot horizontally or 96 feet horizontally across the roof of that building. So you can access either a, a setback part of the building that goes up taller or you can work on that roof with, again, out, out getting out of, of the Bronto. Okay. And it can go uh, below grade, 35 feet, if you need to do something lower with it. Okay. Most people do know Bronto Skylift for, for the machine and for the, for, for, the, uh, for the basket and everything. What are some other products that uh, people might not know about from Bronto? So in addition to these products that we brought, the, the 116 and the 291, we also offer a similar product to the 116 in, in uh, 134 foot height and even down to someone who wants to go with a 100 foot height. Okay. Um, additional things though about these is on the 291 we oftentimes get questioned about how much water will flow. And at 288 feet where the nozzle is, we can flow 1,000 gallons a minute with a reasonable inlet pressure 275, 277 PSI, so not ridiculous. On the 216 we can flow up under, excuse me, we can flow up over uh, 1,500 GPM. Well if there are uh if, if people want to find out more information on Bronto Skylift, how, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, best way is our website, brontoskylift.com. All right, great. Well, thanks a lot for taking time out again. I know yeah. it's hard with the FDIC to carve out time, so thanks a lot for taking some time out to talk to us. Yeah, thanks, Chris.